Bessie Coleman was the first African-American woman to earn her pilot's license. This feat would inspire many other African-Americans to become pilots. Coleman was born on the 26th of January, 1892, in Texas, and she was one of 13 children. She was born into a family of sharecroppers, and she grew up picking cotton. Once she became an adult, she would go to Langston University, but she ran out of money after the first semester and was forced to drop out. After college, she would move to Chicago, and while in Chicago, she heard stories that inspired her to become a pilot. She tried to get into many different flight schools across the country, but none of them would let her in because she was an African-American woman. She would learn French lessons and go there for her license. Once in France, she was accepted into the Codron Brothers School of Aviation, and on June the 15th, 1921, she received her international pilot's license from the Fédération Aéronautique Internationale. After she got her license, she began to do air shows all around both Europe and America. She was known for doing loopy loops and figure eights, and she became a popular barnstormer. She would use this newfound fame to promote flying to other African Americans. On the 30th of April, 1926, while flying over at Jacksonville, Florida, the controls of her plane got jammed by a loose wrench. The airplane flipped over, and Coleman, who was not wearing a seatbelt, was ejected. She died instantly upon hitting the ground. Coleman is considered both a hero and an inspiration by many in the aviation community. 